Okay. Now we're recording. I'll start over. The Angel Shavers, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas. And we are going to be making a card with the Zany Zoo stamp set. And I'm going to switch cameras, and we're just going to get started. Please. This week's card, we are making this card right here. And I'm going to set them over here so I can see exactly what I'm going to be doing, and then we'll talk about it. First, we start with a piece of Lost Lagoon cardstock. Cut an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock cut in half vertically to make eight and a 11 by four and a quarter. And then you fold it and it's a four and a quarter by five and a half inch. Set that aside. We have a piece of basic white cut four by five and a quarter for the inside of the card. And a piece of masterfully made designer series paper cut about three and a half by five and a half for the front of the card. But before we do any stamping, we are going to pull over the mini cut and emboss machine and cut out some circles. We are using circles from the layering circles dies that are retired. And we put in the base plate and then cutting plate number one. And then I'm going to set up the hedgehog that's painting a masterpiece on his easel. With that circle. And then to keep the circle where I would like it, we're going to Grab some washi tape and just tape it down. Put on the other cutting plate, and here we go. that for a second while we very gently remove the washi tape. And there we have our hedgehog artist. Then bring back my cut and boss and get things set up to do another solid circle with a white and drop cutting plate. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, got it. And we're going to send Finally, we are going to cut a scallop circle using the very Oops. 
scallop circle. Barely the right size. So we are going to tape it down with washi tape. So hopefully it doesn't move off at just the Okay. There we have our scalloped circle as well. And to put our circles all together. First, by gluing the basic white circle in the center of the scalloped circle, and then by gluing the hedgehog artist circle toward the right, I mean the left, the left top of the circles. Now we're going to do some stamping. I have lost my stamp. Wonder. Oh, yep. When things fell in my bag a minute ago, it went right along with them. Okay. Now we are using very first ink with the You Inspire Me stamp from the Crafting with you steam set. I'm going to put it right about there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside of the card while we're stamping. Life is better when you're crafting is the sentiment we're going to put on the inside of our card. And I left a fingerprint, so that's why we flip it over. Try not to leave little berry burst fingerprints. Much better. Okay, and finally, on the inside of this card, I'm going to stamp the Stampin' Cut and Boss Machine in Tuxedo Boy. There it is. 
Now we just put our card together. Take our card base and put some glue on the back of the interior of our card. Look at that. We're hiding the fingerprint that wasn't meant to be. Nobody will ever know. And on the front of the card, we're putting the magically made grip down the center. And then using dimensionals, on the back of our circles that are framing our artist hedgehog. So here we have the sweet card. You inspire me with the artist hedgehog and open it up. Life is better when you're crafting. There you go. Come back next week for the fancy bold bonus fifth card for you. See you then.